All right, so on today's video, this video is a little bit more of a rant. Now, I'm, I'm still going to be, I'm still going to make some points, but I'm going to explain the reason why there's so much frustration amongst men in the dating scene when, and I'm talking about good men that, that put in work to become the best versions of themselves. Um, obviously, there's going to be some lapses in their game and things like that, but you know, you can always be sharper, but at the end of the day, I want to talk about the frustration that meant that that is, um, you know, the male frustration that exists and where it comes from, right? When it comes to dealing with women and guys that put in work to be better, but are still getting ghosted. And I'm in that same boat because although I've figured out, I figured out a whole lot of shit when it comes to women, I understand women and things of that nature. I have no problem getting women It's sometimes it's, I'm, it's hard to be it or not to be in a position of but it's hard to maintain that stoicism when you like a bitch like when you like a girl a lot because i really don't like girls all that often it's rare that i do you know catch feelings for somebody but when i like a girl though it's hard to maintain that stoicism that you need in order for a relationship to continue right so what does that mean and i'll tell you i do i've done things and i know a lot of men have done unspeakable things for the women in their lives, whether they've been together for very long or not, because they just feel as though it's their, it's our duty, it's our duty to take care of our women, right? So you got you a girl, and you go out of your way to help her better her skin, right? Better her skin, better her diet. You're advocating for better habits. But let me tell you something, right? We meet women all the time, and you have to treat them like people. And the majority of people, as you know, the majority of people suck, bro. They have bad habits and they don't plan on changing. There's a lot of trauma that they don't plan on facing, fixing. And you being in a clean, a clean bill of mental health, it doesn't mean that you're now qualified to fix somebody that, uh, that's in trouble. That's, that's a problem. You're not, you're not able to, you're not built to fix these problems, right? All you can really do, and me, I attract women. I, I'm not somebody that goes out and goes on a prowl and things of that nature like if i come across something that i like i'm gonna i'm gonna say something i'm gonna, I'm gonna try to knock some but i'm not actively on the hunt desperately for a bunch of girls like the girls that are in my life it was random they came to me or we met mutually and it was you know what i mean so i just want to put that disclaimer out there now you meet women that they tell you these you know their their life story it's it sucks like they've been through a lot of trauma they've been through a lot of fuck shit because whatever reason right and then you start to see the holes in their game that you worked on and you decide and you decide to play the role of a coach or the role of somebody that's advising and and looking to elevate because yes that is part of our purpose that's the reason why we saw we we look for knowledge that's valuable to the world so we can be more valuable to the world and the woman that we choose is more valuable innately to us but i think that there are a few there are a few rules every guy needs when it comes to choosing a girl right you need to think have the have this in the back of your head at least this this one rule in the back of your head at least no matter what you come across you're not qualified to fix it you're not qualified to fix What's wrong with a girl like if you if you got a girl who she loves going out, turning up, right? She experimented with drugs, all this crazy shit, right? Because the reality of it is a lot of girls, they want to have fun and fun can mean a whole spectrum of different things, right? Promiscuity, drugs, getting drunk, you know what I mean? All this extra shit that's not good for you. And these girls are in their fun phase when you meet them, especially when you're around my age or young, you know what I mean? And young hoes, is hard. it's hard to teach them something because they don't want to hear it. So, um, it, it's, it's, you have to remember that you can't fix that. You can't fix that. You know what I mean? So, I use myself as an example. I always do. Met a girl. She's great. She told me about her history. And her history, it was a checkerboard of a lot of things. Good and bad, right? But um, I took the good, I was like, you know, I'm going to take the good with the bad because this girl's good and blah, blah, blah. But what I didn't remember was, see, I tried to patch up the holes in her game and elevate her, which is what I believe our purpose is to do for our women. Because wherever our women are lacking as a man, you have to be in a position to be able to show them better. 
I, be, I still believe that to be the case, although I have been ghosted. I have been, my bro, I've had all types of feedback where women are a mirror. <clears throat> so when they give you feedback, you should listen. And a lot of women tell me either I'm too good for them or like sometimes I've been told that I'm intimidating or overwhelming because whenever something happens, like I have an answer for it. I'm giving them some knowledge. We're talking about shit. I'm asking them how they feel. Like these are things that a lot of people don't do for women anymore. So when they meet me, it's almost as if it's too good to be true. And I'm not even saying that shit to just boost my ego. I'm just repeating what I've been told. And, you know, if you're a W man, right, you get frustrated because you're like, how many bitches do I got to elevate, man? Like, how many times do I have to help a girl out and take time out of my day and do this and do that? Like, how many times do I have to continue to do that before it works out? How many times do I have to be good to somebody who could leave me at a moment's notice? How many times? Right. Let me tell you something. Right. If you're thinking like that, if you're being if you're thinking in that in that way of like tit for tat, you're doing it wrong. It's not a 50 50. Uh, it's not a 50 50 thing to serve your purpose. You serve your purpose 100 percent of the time. So don't think of you doing things for somebody means that they owe you any sort of a return. Like, OK, the big three profit provider and protector. Right. These are things that should just be ingrained in you. To where if you see some fuck shit going on, right, you step in and you do your thing and then you leave it be. But do not get do not become frustrated. Do not become emotional. Do not become hateful towards whoever it is that you did help. And you did elevate them a little bit and things of that nature. That's that's good. Now, when they decide if they decide to stop messing with you for whatever reason, let, let the last note or let the last thing that you that you uh, left it at the last moment that y'all had, let it be positive. So if they do ghost you, so be it. They left the positivity behind. It's their loss. If you, we're innately better than them because they like us first for all of the things that I'm talking about. We're, ch we're charming. We're funny. We got skills, our physicality, all of these things and stuff like that. It's obvious. It's a survival of the fittest, obviously. But I believe that there's somebody for, you know, there's, there's so many women out there that any man can get one. And when you do get one, don't have such a bleak outlook on relationships just because of what happened to you in the past and things of that nature. The frustration, it literally just comes from us, us thinking like, how many times do I have to elevate and do unspeakable and unthinkable things for this girl? Just for her to leave me, you know, why shouldn't I become cold? Why shouldn't I become what the world wants me to be? Why shouldn't I put the love down? Why shouldn't I be a dog, right? That's what you ask yourself every time you get ghosted. Like, you get mad and you're just like, bro, like, I can't have done any better. Understand something. A lot of women are not ready for what it is that you are capable of. If you're a man who follows his purpose, then there's God in that man. Understand? And when God gives love, it's always trickled down. It comes from right after you go through something and you're hurt and vulnerable, then you receive some grace. Then you receive a blessing. Now, how long that trial or tribulation is, that's, you know, it varies. It does. It depends on what, you know, who you are and the level of character development that you need. But you have to remember that and think of it like that. We're made in his image. Man is made in his image. So that means that we, were, we, we are to behave as, you know, as he wanted us to behave, which would be godlike. You understand what I mean? And that comes down to giving love, doing right, and not letting the world convince you to be bad. Because if you do decide to go bad, right? If you do decide to be a dog, if you do decide to do these things, right? Um, I'm not going to say you should never splash on, or, you know, do your thing, you know, get you some box, whatever. But you got to understand... I'm talking about life after you're done, right after you're done, right after you realize, you know, box is box. It's really not that big of a deal. After that, this is the period of time I'm talking about where you are starting to look for other things in women. You want them to be bigger than just the box. You want them to be more than that. Well, it's up to us to show them how to be. However, women mature, but they mature to a point. Usually you are not going to get a woman who's ready for you until she goes through like a lot of fuck shit and she's tired. 
You know what I mean? Because when you talk to women that have an ego, they project their future and say, this is what I deserve because they have an ego. Ego is when you feel as though you deserve whatever future you, 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 you deserve, right? And instead of you're going to be wasting your breath telling her, bitch, you're delusional. It's no point. Trust me. You're going to ch just chill and be yourself. You will, your, your greatness will radiate. You will attract somebody who is ready, who is tired, who is done with this independent stuff, right? Maybe been out of college for like three years, four years, right? And they're just ready for something real. They're ready to stop being lied to, right? They're ready for something authentic. They're ready for a man who's who's, who's down to step up and 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 you know do his do his man shit. Don't stop being a man. Don't start you know lowering yourself down to bottom feeder level just because a few bitches pissed you off. That's my point. I understand it's frustrating, dog. And women, your corruptibility levels right now, although you're you're very close to your nature, but within that being said, this I don't blame you for how you are. But I do blame you for how easy you are to corrupt because you don't listen to your man. You listen to your bird, your, your bird ass friends and, and them dog ass niggas that don't like your man because he's hitting your shit up and he's moving. And he ain't steered you wrong yet. Your corruptibility levels, you got to learn how to trust in your man. All these trust issues, and all this extra shit, you cannot behave that way anymore. Hang it up because you're self sabotaging all the time. And in reality, you're gonna make it to where you're not gonna have as you don't have as many options as you think. You outnumber us. So here's the point of this video, right? Yes, men are frustrated, and they're frustrated because we're tired of we get we get tired of at times we get tired of elevating bum bitches from partying every day, blah blah blah, to now they got better skin, better hair, better diet, working out. We're teaching them about the world. We're teaching them about men. The perspective on men is where we're teaching them all the time. We're like, we're, we, we're a fountain of knowledge. I'm talking about niggas that are like me, not bummy dudes. I'm talking about niggas that are like me, right? Which means I put in work to be a better man, to get my emotions under control, to seek, I seek knowledge. And when I seek knowledge and I, I become a, a happier man as I accomplish more, happier man trickles down to a more complicated, needy creature, my woman, right? Then she disappeared. That's the frustration is when you do all of the right things and she disappears. I'm here to tell you right now, do not look at it as, damn, I lost my girl. No, you look at it as she ran away from something that could have been great. The opportunity may never arise for her again. And when she does come back, because she will, as long as you let her breathe, don't breathe on her too hard. All right, she disappeared. Let her breathe. I, I made that mistake before sending paragraphs of what, why did you blah, blah, blah. It don't even matter. You keep on mashing. Let her be stuck with her own goofiness and think she knows what the fuck she doing. She doesn't. So with that being said, appreciate everybody that tunes into these videos, man. These videos hit home for a lot of folks that watch these. And I think that it's important that I continue to lay the truth down the way that I do. Um, if you're somebody that you feel as though you, if you're a woman that's easily corruptible, right? And you know this, because a lot of women are very self-aware of when they're being self-destructive, when they're being when they're self-sabotaging relationships, and they're very aware of their history and how it affected who they dealt with. Drop that in the comment section. And as a man, when you, when it comes to your frustration, look, just 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 funnel it, tink it, channel it, put it into something productive. Usually, some sort of training, something that's just all about repetition, and. Just, just save your mind, bro. And and if you if you can if you can prioritize keeping your mind level, you might be able to save your you know you'll save your own life too. Um. So with that being said, man, leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I'm out.